Are you aware that scientists have successfully bred hybrid animals such as half pigs, half monkeys, and even a peculiar type of fish that was accidentally created? Additionally, experiments have been conducted involving crossbreeding between humans and animals. It's certainly worth learning more about these developments. In the following video, I will showcase some of the latest hybrid animals that scientists have created. Let's get started. Mullard. The mullard is an interspecies hybrid resulting from crossing domestic Muscovy ducks with several other duck breeds, such as the Orpington chicken, American Pekin chicken, or ruined duck. The result is a new breed of domestic duck, artificially bred to improve some qualities of existing breeds. Mullards are known for their attractive appearance, characterized by white plumage with a distinctive black spot on their heads, resembling a hat. They come in various plumage colors, depending on the breeds of domestic Muscovy ducks used for crossbreeding. Hybrid fish. In 2020, Hungarian scientists unintentionally created an unusual hybrid of the Russian sturgeon and the American paddlefish during their efforts to save an endangered fish species. Evolution had separated these fish 184 million years ago, but the scientists' goal was to breed Russian sturgeon in captivity using a type of asexual reproduction called genogenesis. They used American paddlefish biomaterial for fertilization, resulting in some individuals with an equal mix of genes from both parents and others more similar to the Russian sturgeon. Russian sturgeons are economically important as a source of caviar, reaching lengths of up to 2 meters and weighing 12 to 24 kilograms, occasionally exceeding 80 kilograms. American paddlefish, on the other hand, filter zooplankton and can grow up to 2 meters in length and weigh 70 to 80 kilograms. Approximately 100 individuals survived from several hundred offspring, and they had not yet been given a specific name at the time, but a rough suggestion might be sturtlefish, a hybrid of a pig and a monkey. In 2019, hybrids of monkeys and pigs were born in China. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? Chinese scientists achieved this by implanting monkey stem cells into pig embryos, resulting in the birth of new animals, known as chimeras. The goal of this experiment was to grow human organs in pigs for transplantation. Geneticists transplanted embryonic stem cells from crab-eating macaques into pig embryos. Approximately 4,000 pig embryos were injected with artificially grown monkey cells five days after fertilization. Only two out of 10 piglets born were chimeras and various tissues in these piglets, including the heart, liver, spleen, lungs, and skin were partially composed of monkey cells. However, their proportion was relatively low, ranging from one in a thousand to one in 10,000. Unfortunately, all the newborn chimeras did not survive more than a week. Kama. The Kama is an interspecies hybrid of a female llama and a male one-humped camel. It was first created in 1998 by scientists at the Dubai Camel Breeding Center through artificial insemination. Given that llamas are six times smaller and lighter than camels and that they naturally inhabit different regions, llamas in South America and camels in Asia and Africa, the breeding required artificial insemination. Scientists aimed to create an animal with the valuable wool of a llama and the high endurance of a camel. Camas have short ears, long tails, twin hooves, and long, strong legs, making them suitable for long journeys in desert environments. They lack a hump, and their fur is fluffy and soft. Camas weigh between 50 to 70 kilograms and are known for their resistance to harsh conditions and efficient water usage. Africanized bee. The Africanized bee, often called the killer bee, is a hybrid resulting from the crossing of the East African lowland honeybee with various European bee species. This hybrid was unintentionally created by entomologist Warwick Kerr in Brazil more than 65 years ago. The goal was to create bees better adapted to hot climates and more resistant to parasites. The experiment succeeded in creating a more hardy and disease-resistant bee but it also produced highly aggressive and territorial bees. These bees were given the nickname killer bees due to their aggressive behavior. 
They can attack anyone within a 5 meter radius of their hive and chase victims for long distances. Africanized bees have caused numerous fatalities and injuries in Brazil and the southern United States. Dzo. A dizo is a hybrid of a yak and domestic cattle. These hybrids are found in Mongolia, Tibet, and Nepal, where they are used in agriculture. Dzos typically resemble cows but have a horse's tail. They are known for their high milk production, with females producing up to 5,400 liters of milk per year, surpassing that of regular cows. Adult zoos can weigh between 150 to 200 kilograms, yielding more meat than cows. They also have a longer lifespan, with some living up to 36 years. Zoos are rarely born naturally and have been primarily bred by scientists since 1990, resulting in several distinct breeds. Male zoos are often castrated to produce strong animals used for transportation. Savannah Cat The Savannah Cat is a hybrid resulting from the crossbreeding of a serval, a wild African cat, with a domestic cat. It is known for its exotic appearance, resembling a miniature leopard. Savannah cats can reach a height of 60 centimeters and weigh between 5 to 15 kilograms. They have a spotted coat, tall ears, and a graceful, elongated body as inherited from the serval. Despite their wild appearance, savannah cats are friendly, playful, and loyal, often compared to dogs in terms of behavior. They can be trained to walk on a leash, fetch, and perform tricks. Zebroid Hybrid zebras, known as zebroids, have been known since the 19th century. These hybrids result from crossbreeding a male zebra with a female horse, donkey, or pony. The resulting offspring inherit traits from both parents, often resembling the mother with some striped features from the zebra. Zebroids are commonly used as working and pack animals in Africa due to their resistance to diseases and strong endurance. A hybrid of an animal and a human? Finally, there are real experiments involving human-animal hybrids. American, Spanish, and Chinese biologists have created chimeric human and macaque hybrid embryos that survived outside the body for almost 20 days. They used technology to keep the embryos alive outside the animal's body, injected human stem cells into monkey embryos, and observed the survival of these chimeras. Although most of them did not survive, the experiment will help improve cellular communication and the efficiency of future tremor creation. Which hybrid animal impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.